Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Dying Light. Now, when we left off, we had to make our way to the ferry station, and I do believe we were all the way over there. And now we've just traversed across the various roads and various other shanties that were along the coast here, and now we have arrived. And we are going to be speaking to Morgan, apparently. So let us try to find him. I believe he's actually in there. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just trying to get by like everybody else. Yeah? So are we. Rye said he'd protect us if we paid him. But so far, all he's done is take our money. There's no protection, just threats. You any different? Look, all I want to do is get this over with. What's it going to take, huh? Don't need to point out how easy it would be to set this entire place on fire. Jesus Christ. You people are fucking monsters. All my money's in that satchel. Take it and get the fuck out. Hey, for what it's worth, this isn't something I want to do. I'd rather be helping you guys. And yet you're still doing it, aren't you? Hmm. Yes, we are. How much money is going to be in this? We don't even know. Okay, Kareem. I made the collection at the ferry station. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to hell. Join the club. Now, come back and claim your prize. Good job today. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, okay. So we get to go back to rice now, I suppose. That is pretty cool. So we do actually have the opportunity to purchase something really nice here, but unfortunately I still do not have enough money. We are selling some valuables for 500, which is not bad, but mm, yes, generally the things we have right here, I'm going to be selling quite a few of them, i got to say, because I actually do not like the military shovel. You know why? The handling. The handling is pretty terrible, as you can see. 29, that is just absolutely terrible. So, as you see, the rest of these things have 60 at least. The police baton, which is what we were using previously, has 102, which is insane. We need to go back to using that, I do believe. The military shovel is a little bit too low on the handling side of things. And, hmm. I can afford something. Is this a two-handed? It doesn't seem like it's a two-handed, but... Generally, cricket bats are used in the two-handed style, so... Hmm, maybe the hook blade. Ooh, that would be wonderful. I need another 300 to be able to do that, so let's sell that. And I'm actually thinking I'll sell the claw hammer as well. Should I? It's got a 60 handling right now. We have to do it, surely. We have to do it. Do we have anything else that I can sell for a lot? We can sell some toxic lichen. Let's do that. Yeah, there we go. Why not? And we still... Oh my goodness, we need seven... Wow. Seven dollars. So I guess I will sell one of these. Or I could just sell the heavy rebar, because that has a handling of one. So let's sell that. And we'll go with the hook blade. Shall we? Shall we go with that? i got to say, I am really tempted by the short fisherman's knife, but... Seeing as the hook blade has 73 damage, 93 handling, the durability is okay. It's not great, it's not as good as the short fisherman's knife, i got to say. Hmm. But the handling and the damage is just generally really good. Should I do it? That's a lot of money. Hmm. Wow. Hmm, yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Just throw caution to the wind, apparently. Yes, throw caution absolutely to the wind. So, we are going to be modding it. What is it again? It is a hook blade. So, I suppose I will be giving it industrial grade leech. Because that is all I can give it at the moment. And there we go. Let's add it to that. It will give me seven more damage, which is not great, i got to say. But it is better than nothing. And we can now go over to it. And upgrade it as well with some of our, yes, some of our mods here. You can increase attributes of weapons using upgrades for damage, durability, or handling. You can obtain them by helping other survivors in encounters or while exploring. Thank you very much. So, let's give it the champion upgrade. I do believe that will be really nice. And we'll also give it, I think Titan is probably going to be the way to go because that will improve our durability, which is what we really need it to be. So there we go, let's do that, there we are, very nice indeed, it has 84 damage now, and yes, we are now going to be a little bit better off when it comes to fighting zombies, and without further ado, let us speak to this fellow and see what he wants. 
I'm Neil Fallon. I'm a journalist for International Affairs magazine. Yeah, I've heard of you. You have? How the hell did you get in here? It wasn't so hard during the first few days of the quarantine. And when they put Suleiman in charge, it was pretty clear how things were going to go. So you decided to stick around? Actually, I've decided to leave. Though God knows how that's going to happen. I've been in some lockdown cities before, but there's usually someone you can bribe. Not here. I can't get you out of Haran. I'm not sure anyone can. No, of course. But I've been documenting this place pretty much from day one. I've interviewed hundreds of... Well, people who aren't people anymore. Suleiman has a lot to answer for. The world needs to know what's happened and... Look, I'm kind of desperate here. I've lost my work, all of it. I was holed up at an internet cafe when a mob of infected landed on me. I got out without a bite, but I left my satchel at the cafe. And everything's in the satchel? Most of it. They chased me for a while, so I finally had to ditch my camera in a car. Look, I know it's a lot to ask. All right, even if I recovered them, you still don't have a way out of here. Mister, if I can't get my work back, there's no reason for me to get out. Now that cafe's in a bad area. I'll... I'll think about it, but no promises, okay? Right, a survivor's guide to zombie land. Well, what I'd like to say is... Did he just say that he was interviewing zombies? That seemed as though that's what he was saying. Well, whatever the case, we have literally no money whatsoever. And that makes me a little bit worried, because I have no medkits, as you can plainly see. So, we are going to be making our way back... To the garrison and now let's just take a look and see wait a minute there's actually something <gasps> there's a random encounter going on over there let's go and investigate oh yes we need to see what's going on oh it's just this fellow up here oh wait a minute what's oh my yeah there's some things go wait a minute ah it's down here apparently oh hey, hello what you looking for something I can use for a tourniquet once rise takes over this place we're going to need plenty of them that's something they do, see? Amputations. Rise gets a kick out of it. Wondering how I know? That motherfucker kept me locked in a cage for three weeks. I saw plenty. Sometimes it was like he was experimenting. See what would do the job best, you know? Machete, axe, shotgun, hell. He took this one guy's leg off at the knee and had to hear time how long it took the poor bastard to bleed out. It's a valid strategy. You kill an enemy, well, that is one down. But you hurt an enemy. Then you've got the wounded guy out of the fight. Plus, it'll take at least two more people to take care of him. Three, for the price of one. <laughs> There's value in sadism, I guess. Given the right circumstances. Wow, bet you're a lot of fun at parties. Okay, I imagined that he would actually be giving us something, but apparently not. Okay, well, let's just loot a couple of things over there. And I do believe we are near a safe zone, so I think what we'll do is we'll go to the safe zone first. And then I will be cutting away and we'll make our way back to the garrison. Maybe we'll see if we can do any side missions. Let's just take a look here. What do we go? Hmm. We have the drugstore. Find a gun. Recover Fallon's satchel and find the master panel. And reset the breaker during the night. Oh, yes. We do need to still do that. Okay. Well, we're going to get 22,500 survivor points for completing the story mission. So I do believe we will focus on that. But first, let us go to the safe zone and we will purge that particular area with our amazing skills. A copy, what's wrong? Someone's turned on the 18th floor. We're doing our best to contain the situation, but we can't sugarcoat this crane. We need air to send right fucking now. Rise has promised me two crates, Brecken. Two crates. I'm doing this shit as fast as I can, I swear. Just God, just hurry, please! Oh my goodness, okay, so someone has actually turned in the tower itself, that is quite the pickle, is it not? Yes, we're not too happy about that, and this weapon is absolutely amazing, I like that a lot. Very nice indeed to actually have a good weapon nowadays, so let's push this wardrobe or bookcase in front of the door, and 
Oh, I suppose we should turn on the power as well. That would be a good idea. And there we go. Safe zone unlocked. There we are. Very nice indeed. I'm actually going to wait until night because I want to be full health. And, yeah, I don't know whether this is a good idea, but we'll do it anyway. Yeah, okay, so is there anything in here? Is there anything in here that I require? Well, I suppose I can use this. And we need our flashlight on if we're going to be going outside here. So, 700 meters. Okay, I will be traversing the landscape. And as we get closer and closer, I will see you there. Crane, how close are you? I don't know, about halfway back, I guess. Good. I need you to make a quick detour. Uh, why? One of our patrols went off the grid somewhere near the market. How is that my problem? I'm making it your problem. See if you can find them, or don't bother coming back. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's actually a <laughs> rather dynamic change in the quest right here. I suppose it is scripted, but still. I feel as though that's a really nice addition. So, is it a nice addition, really? Because I have to find a missing patrol. That's not going to be very good at night, that's for sure. So, let's see what we can do. There are a couple of, yeah, those guys right in front of us right here. But I don't think we're going to have too many difficulties avoiding this one, at least. So, let's just head down this way. And I think as long as we don't have any issues with these zombies, we should be okay. Although that fellow is now coming back. I'm not entirely sure whether he's on my... No, he's underneath. He's in the tunnel. That's great. He's not on my level right now. So we are perfectly fine in that regard. Now, what I would like to do is jump. There we are. Thank you. Ah. I was hoping I could grab onto the fence, but no such luck right there. Agility has been leveled up, which is very nice indeed. So I suppose we will be doing that immediately. So let's see. What do we want to get? Oh, light drop. That is amazing. That's going to be really good. Because, as you see, reduces fall damage by half. That's just too good. We have to take that, surely. Wait a minute. Vault is really good as well. I should really take that. I mean, look at that. Jump over enemies. I mean, that's just so good for avoiding any opponent, apart from, obviously, the most powerful ones. But we'll take light drop for now. I do seem to be taking more damage from falling than anything else at the moment. So I think that will be fine. And now we have actually come across the area where the missing patrol may be. Kareem, I think I found your lost patrol. Yeah, something ripped them limb from limb. Search the bodies. Look for some blueprints in a small envelope. And don't damage them. They're worth more than all those dead assholes put together. Look for an envelope with blueprints in it. Did you find the envelope? Not yet. Wait a sec. Holy shit! Alright. Okay, well, let's continue searching. I found some keys. Okay, I don't know what the keys are for, but apparently some people are shooting at me, and this is probably not the greatest idea because I have no medkits still. Well, let's do it. No, 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 no. Okay. Are you serious? There's no way I can do this without any medkits. Ah, uh, okay. We'll try, I suppose. Oh my goodness. Okay, how do I get there? Hmm. There's only one in there? Are you serious? There's only one guy pinning us down? Oh, I need to get on top of the roof here. Okay. Gonna need to sprint out here. Unfortunately, I might get shot again. No, no, I was able to avoid everything. So what we need to do is get on top of this, jump on here, and then... Oh, goodness me. Ah, yeah, and get killed, obviously, because we have no med kits. Ah, of course, of course. Well, we didn't lose any points, at least. And I don't know, actually, where we're going to be. Where are we? Oh, we're in the nearest safe zone, by the looks of things. Oh, my goodness, not the nearest safe zone. Or maybe it is. Goodness me, I really need to unlock a couple of more of those. But nevertheless, I will be heading my way back there, and I will see you once we arrive. Go ahead. We found two more vials of that fake anthazine. Reckon is boiling mad. Yeah, I bet. How's Bahir? He's stable. But if we'd gotten to him ten minutes later, he wouldn't be. This stuff is lethal, Crane. 
Putting them out of business is your number one priority. I right, understood. All right. Well, yes, as you can probably see, I'm being a little bit greedy here. I am picking up some more airdrops and, yeah, hopefully not drawing people with a lot of noise to my location. But, yes, I took a little bit of a detour to try and get those airdrops because, goodness me, I really want to level up really fast and try and get some more advanced skills. That would be really quite nice. So, yes, without further ado, I will once again cut away and I will see you once we arrive at the gas station. I do believe it was a gas station once again. Okay, I'm in a little bit of spot of bother right here. I thought I'd just cut back right now because we are quite close. But what I'm attempting to do is I saw an ambulance, as you can see right here. I saw an ambulance and I thought to myself, hmm, you guys said that there was med kits in here. So I'm going to take one and hopefully not get seen by that guy, as you can see. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I got one. We have one med kit. Oh, actually, no, we have four because we picked up some medical supplies from the airdrop. So that is amazing. That is going to mean that we can do this without any issues whatsoever. And... Yeah, that guy's going to continue shooting us, like quite the annoying Nelly, is he not? So, yeah, let's just attempt... Jump! Ah! Really? How do we kill that guy? I have no idea. But there we have it. Even with medkits. Even with medkits. Maybe I should have just stayed there and healed before I made the jump? Yeah, that would have been a good idea, I think. Okay, so this time I made it back with full HP because I didn't take any damage from falling damage and so forth. So I think we should be able to do this no problem at all as long as I dodge and weave, dodge and weave, and then jump. And heal, please. Yes, there we go, I healed. Okay, so we are completely fine. That was so incredibly close right there, I gotta say. And we survived the night, which was very nice indeed. So, without further ado, let us make our way. To butcher this fellow. Are you serious? One hit killed this guy? Oh, wow. And he killed us twice as well. Goodness me. So, let's salute him and... Oh my... Hello. Hello, military rifle with 209 firepower. What? That is insane. Okay, how many bullets do we have? Let us take a look at that. If I can actually use this properly. There we go. Let's take a look. 19 rifle bullets. That's pretty bad. Okay, we're going to need to buy a few more of those if we can, or maybe find a couple more. But there it is. We've finally taken out that guy. Wait a minute. What we need to do is secure the safe zone before we climb up. Wait a minute. Ah. That would probably be a good idea. And... Hi there. Apparently he's <laughs> waving us goodbye. I have no idea what's going on with that, but there we have it. <laughs> Ah, oh, rather nice. So, let us change our outfit to the runner outfit. We did unlock that in the previous episode, I do believe. And we survived the night, so that's good. Now it's daytime again. We no longer have to deal with those fellows. And I believe that is it. Okay, so we can now open this door, can we not? No, we cannot open this door. Now we have to use the hatch. If I can actually do that properly. There we are. Okay, so let us find the envelope with the blueprints in it. Maybe it's under this fellow. That would make sense that... Yeah, that would make sense because he's the closest to the building. Okay, got it. Good. Bring it back to me right away. You're going to be a hero around here. All right. Okay. Well, I don't know whether I want to be a hero to a bunch of thugs, but we'll see. Hey, you! Is it that guy over there? Do I want to go over there right now? I don't really want to, but I have a tendency to go towards shouting men, apparently. Hmm. Okay, so, <laughs> yes, we're going to be heading over here just to see what this guy wants. He probably will give us a rather nice side mission. Maybe he will give us a couple more med kits. I know that that is probably not the thing to be wanting right now, but... Well... I feel as though it's slightly important to have something that can actually heal us up. And yeah, I think this is the way to get on to this particular antenna right here. It's not too far out of our way as well, so I suppose we really shouldn't be quibbling over whether it takes us a little bit more time or anything. Is this the guy? I think this is the guy. I need your help finding my son Christoph. You work for Rise, don't you? 
Sure, for protection. But I can't go to him for a thing like this. My son is... he's young. He thinks with his mouth instead of his head. He doesn't understand that sometimes you've got to go along with people who aren't so good. Now he's run off to join Brecken's bunch at the tower. He thinks he's going to be a runner. It's not the safest line of work. He's going to get himself killed. He's not ready. He's too young to be out there. Shouldn't you be looking for him yourself? You don't understand. I make weapons for Rise. If the new ones aren't ready when his people come, me and Kristoff are both dead. Please, do this for me. I'll give you something good. Something special. Okay? Yeah, maybe I'll ask around at the tower. If I find something, I'll let you know. But if you ask me, your protection seems to have you pretty scared. You should really think about it. Mm, very well, the prodigal son. Oh, we get Blueprint Zombie Classic if we do that for him. That seems like a pretty good deal, I suppose. And I guess we will run into Kristoff at some point later on. And let us open this up before we head on back to Rise. We get some string and some coffee. Mm-hmm, okay. I really want to get some gauze, I gotta say. I really want to get some gauze, so I'm hopeful that the Quartermaster, once we return to the tower to hand in our various airdrops, that would be really nice. That would be great. Hand in a couple of those airdrops, get some additional equipment from the Quartermaster, hopefully make a little bit of money from some of these quests, and then we'll be able to, of course... So... I think it's safe to say that Rice isn't the most popular person in town, huh? No, but he is the most feared. And you know the old saying, it is better to be feared than loved if one cannot be both. Ah, uh, Machiavelli. Correct. Smart fellow, that one. And as I was saying, I do believe what we're going to be wanting to do is save those survivors over there, quickly! Oh my goodness. Apart from that, we do want to get some money and buy some medkits from the nearby merchants. Take him down. There we go. Okay, just had to make sure they were dead. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. Thank you very much. Save some survivors for a thousand survivor points. I like that a lot. And... Ooh, he giving us a mod? No, you're not giving me a mod. You're just running off. How dare you? Ah, oh, my goodness. Ah, uh, okay. I actually thought that they waited for you to take the reward, but apparently not. Oh my, okay. Well, I suppose the assassin mod isn't that good, is it? Oh, I have no idea. It sounds cool, but who knows? Who knows? Okay, so there is a safe zone up there, but I do believe... Wait a minute, can I get up there? I might be able to get up there. Should I try? There we are. That's a lot easier. Oh my goodness. And to think that I couldn't get up here previously. Who would have thought it? Okay, so, yeah, we're going to try and jump for that. Yeah, there we go. And can I jump up to the roof? I think I probably have to jump on here, do I not? Yeah, there we are. Clear the area. Okay, well, this is easy enough. Oh, it's easy when you know how to drop kick. that is. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe that. There we are. Oh, he doesn't go off the edge either. I cannot believe it. Okay, wait a minute. There's a lot of these guys. Yeah, get off there. Okay. Unfortunately, it appears we have to deal with them the old-fashioned way. And my hook blade is about to be needing a repair. So I'm hopeful that I'll be able to get a couple more slices out of it. There we go. And now we can repair without too many issues. This is the power box as well, so I suppose we can use that relatively easily. Get off there. There we go. Thank you very much. So, there we have it. I think I have cleared the entire area, and that will be another safe zone. Excellent. Okay, so, yes. Do I have anywhere to go? Is there a zip? Aha! There is a zip line. Great, okay, and now how far away is it? Only 80 meters, okay, that is excellent. Need to be a bit cautious about these, but I don't think we really need to worry too much because there are a lot of traps around here, as you can no doubt see, and hopefully the zombies will 
decide that it's a good idea to get impaled on many of them. Or not. Ow. Okay. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. We made it back, and I am actually going to be healing just in case something happens. Oh, hello! Kareem is right here meeting us outside. All right, here are the blueprints. Excellent. You're a lot more dependable than most of these drunks. Rise is waiting for you. Maybe we can work together again sometime. God, I hope not. <laughs> okay. Wow, I'm being apparently very honest here. Okay. I like it. If you show them compassion, they will see it as weakness. Understand? I give you shelter, I give you bread, women, bullets. You cannot do a simple task. I should send every one of you to the pit. Ah, the tower lackey returns. Do you have something for me, friend? Yes, I do. Now it's time for you to give me what you promised. Two crates of Andesan. I think not. Your loyalty to the tower is nothing but blind obedience, Crane. A coward's submission to false hierarchies. You follow their rules as thoughtlessly as you follow mine. Like a good little dog. Look, we had a deal. <sighs> your people need the Antezine. Now, more than ever, I would surmise. But a man who follows someone else's rules is no man at all. Here, I will allow you this much. You promised me two crates of it. This is only five vials. If you want more, I present you with an opportunity. The athlete, the Scorpion, Jade Aldemir. She's one of your number. Bring her to me. I have an arena where men fight for our amusement. I would have this Scorpion fight for us. I'm curious how long it will take for someone of her caliber to uh, break. What? No, no, forget it, I'm not doing it. I hear no true conviction in your voice, Crane. You have not yet made your choice, I can tell. Will you be a dog and save the dwellers of the tower? Or will you be a man and save the maiden? Go and think about it. And think about it, we shall. Ah, oh, shit. Aha. Find a private spot to contact the GRE, and I do believe we will be doing that in the next episode. So, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.